Okay, well, Ike dollars are not the uh, the most popular coins to collect these days, as far as pure. Uh, I don't know, as far as numa uh, numismatic value. Okay, uh, a lot of them come pretty much uncirculated for most of their life. You'll have the select few that have actually seen um, uh, usage uh, in today's society, or you know, of yesteryear, because nobody really uses these anymore. Um, but. Uh, did you know that a few of the coins, okay, in its short life from 71 all the way to 78 can sell in excess of ten to twenty thousand dollars? Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe given the series and um, you know how how unpopular it is. Uh, but you know there is a select group of people that do collect these and they put together registry sets. And um, these actually sell for very robust money on the open market. And uh, we're going to take a look at some uh, some grades, some top-notch high-end grades that will certainly fit the bill in this one. And uh, we're also going to explore a few of the dates that you should be on the lookout for that will garner the most money. So first and foremost, what we have here is a uh, 1972 Type 2 Reverse coin. Uh, it's a um, Eisenhower dollar, uh, as we all know. That's why I'm doing the video. Uh, and uh, it grades out at PCGS Mint State 65. So this is typically what a Mint State 65 coin would look like on the front. Now the 72 Type 2 is one of those key date type coins. And what the Type 2 designates is it has the modified reverse. If you wanted more information on what the Type 2 entails, um, there are resources online like Variety Vista. There's even Eisenhower sites that you could visit. I'll have full color pictures for your disposal. So this is the reverse of the coin and uh, as you can see uh, there are a few hits in the fields on the devices which keep this at a 65. Nice coin and believe it or not in this grade this is this is a very pricey coin uh, because typically 1972's in general have soft strikes and they're not very good so um, you know that that's where we come up with uh, you know the whole condition sensitivity thing uh, in grading Eisenhower dollars. So up next, you're going to see a um, Mint State 66 coin, a little bit less dings on here, but as you can see, the eye appeal is getting better. Okay, you're going to have full luster strike on this, uh, not 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 that much luster break that you would typically associate with like bag marks. Uh, because of the sheer size of the coins, you know, it's kind of hard to escape any sort of dings, dents, you know, little, uh, not so much dents, but little scrapes, scratches. Um, you have the reading of another coin striking up against the face of this coin and so on and so forth. So obviously you're going to have a few issues in that respect. But even so, a 66 grade is absolutely amazing in an Ike dollar and pretty tough to find. Here is the reverse of, of this coin in a 66. So go ahead and take a look at that for a second. Okay, and then up next, we're gonna have a uh, Mint State 67. Now this is the grade where really things really get interesting. A lot of coins, especially like the, the 1976 Bicentennial, uh, I believe it's the Type 1 in this grade, gets really pricey. This is where you begin to see some of the five digit figures for the coins and um, a few have recently sold in excess of ten thousand dollars at this price uh, at this grade range. So if you're out there looking at Ike dollars okay usually you'd find these in you know mint sets, proof sets and uh, you know just in, in um, dealer stock you know and, and they're gonna ask like maybe three four bucks for them Unless they, you know, unless they know what's going on with the coins. If they know it's going to be a really good strike, um, less problems on there, then they might ask a little bit more money. But generally, you'll see um, you'll see the coins um, will exhibit little to no problems on it for a 67. And then there are certain dates within the series where where uh, you know that PCGS or NGC will give just a little bit more leeway on uh, again the 76 72 type 2 uh, I believe the 71 D is another date the non-silver 71 D and um, yeah 
Yeah, 67, definitely the grade you want to see. But here's a, uh, a uh, photo of a 67 on the front. Okay, and then here's one of the reverse, as you can see, just as nice. Again, a few trivial marks on there. Uh, still keeping the grade down, uh, but you know, it's not, it, it's, this is the grade you want to hit at on certain dates. Okay. So up next, we have a beautiful Mint State 68. This is where things get really, really rare. Okay. Mint State 68, even in some of the most common of dates, fetch many hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Okay. So even like your 77s, 78, even, uh, the later dates, you know, they, they, they're taking care of the dies a lot, a lot less because they're, they're going to be transitioning into the little bit smaller uh, Susan B. Anthony's. Getting those type of dates in a 68 or higher is a huge, huge monumental find, okay? And, and the coins themselves will be sought after. They'll sell for big money and... It's going to be a really rare low population. Okay, 68s is tough. Even in uh, in the most modern of standards during the 2000s, it's really tough to find. So on the reverse, you'll see the um, the coin in the 68 with virtually almost perfect. Okay, there might be the occasional luster break in there due to uh, you know uh, maybe maybe a slight rub. Uh, it's kind of hard to say and there will be maybe one or two trivial marks in there So that's something to definitely keep in mind when you're searching out for these is the perfect the more perfect the actual fields are around Eisenhower the better your coin will be and the higher it'll grade All right, and then finally when it comes to business strike coins coins meant for circulation no one could possibly ever think that a a uh, a mint state 69 could be found well in a business strike coin there have been a few okay here we have a mint state 69 eisenhower that is simply to die for and at this level i'm not going to say it's next to impossible but it's possible because there is one sitting right in front of you but this is the coin that can hit over twenty thousand dollars okay this particular coin, I believe, hit that $20,000 mark a few years ago. But the, just the sheer rarity of a 69 in an Eisenhower dollar is second to none as far as any other coin of its time. Uh, not even the Lincoln cent. During the same era, nickels, forget about it. 69 in an Eisenhower dollar is next to impossible because, again, of the sheer size these coins were typically uh, kept in uh, large bank bags, okay, where you have a thousand of them all in one bag just hitting up against each other. And they're so big that when you have a, you know, you have one in your pocket, if you could imagine in 1974 or 75, you had one of these in your pocket along with quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, just hitting up against each other, then, you know, you're not going to find nearly as many they even grade at the 64, 65 level. So 69, man, that thing was just like pulled off the die and kept pristine as possible. So, and here's the reverse, of course. I've shown you the reverse uh, for the last 30 seconds. But again, you see it's virtually spotless on this coin. You might have the like, under really close magnification, you'll have a small tick in there. But aside from that, it's a truly amazing coin. Now, again, the question will come up. Well, I have one or two of these already. Where can I sell them? Okay, first and foremost, you need to get them graded. All right, if you guys haven't seen my video on, on how to grade coins, whether it's through PCGS or NGC, I would certainly invest the $40, $50 to send that coin out if and only if you think that it'll achieve you know, some of those, uh, those rare levels in terms of grade. Uh, send it out whatever you get okay there is a PCS price guide that you could kind of base things off of it's not gonna be a true representation of what you'll get in the open market but it's definitely the first step okay you won't need to consult with anyone else send it out to grading go to PCGS's website get it done so 
again, just to recap the rare dates and varieties that you'll want to keep your eye out for those high grade levels is any 72 type 2, 76 type 1, 71 D is another date. And again, for the later dates, 77, 78, okay, especially in 68, 67 and higher, those are the coins that are going to be worth a lot of money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on collecting Ike dollars and kind of a graders photo guide for you. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Send me a private message. Okay, that's going to be the best route. And just by set, shooting a comment down below, it's um, it's getting tougher and tougher to, uh, to reach out to a lot of the folks and respond to those because I'm just getting hundreds of responses in those comment sections uh, on a weekly basis. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more great stuff. Talk to you soon.